Hi guys, how's everybody? I'm a little annoyed. Um, not unhappy, don't get me wrong. You guys should know me by now. I'm not really a happy-go-lucky bitch. Um, I used to be like years ago, but um, you make enough bad decisions, you kind of get a little jaded, you know? Um, but let me give you guys some advice. How about that? Um, sorry, my son has his friends over, so they're all inside. I got kicked out. I'm doing laundry, <laughs> laundry and readings. <laughs> I don't like feeling like this. So let me help you guys out so that you guys don't have to feel this way in the future. For those of you... For those of you that um, want to get into this, before anything, first of all, before anything, stick to your roots, okay? If you're a certain nationality or culture, try to go down that route first, okay? That's probably the reason why you were born into that in this life, okay? It might just flow easier for you. Not always. If you're into hoodoo or you want to do... Hoodoo's a lot. There's a lot of santeria I see in hoodoo, but it's not the same at all. Um, you know, th there's just different stuff, okay? So just, I suggest that you go and you look into your roots. You look at where you've always had a calling with. Don't start get, Don't start mixing and matching, okay? If you're not Japanese and don't use the Japanese, it's just start off with your, where you're from. That's my opinion. That's what's worked for me. Um, also before anything before you get into like something elaborate start with something simple do like a candle um a certain something simple see if you get results okay do like a lux spell or um an attraction something simple don't go cursing on your first date okay it's not good um yeah i, I don't i strongly advise against that because a lot of my clients are in complete chaos and it's because of all the curses that they've tried on their own some of them have done blood magic on their own just don't it's not smart to do that okay these people don't tell you those things before they share these spells um i don't know how many people get get results i don't know if they i don't know but i just know that it's already opening um it's like an antenna that goes off so everybody's like hey party over here bring your own spirits byos you know so be very careful okay start with that small thing first maybe the psalms um you could do a psalms you could do a sigil maybe um i can't breathe you could do something like that see how it goes for you okay my next enormous valuable piece of advice you don't got to tell anybody what you do okay really you don't this is not the time to show off this is not the time for you to go and tell people what you do let me tell you why especially if you're sleeping with somebody okay let me tell you why because most of the time things don't work out okay unless you're married and even then so one or two things will happen the piece of shit that you're with or that i was with will either and i'm talking like with i'm not talking about sleeping with okay because there's a big difference I like sex as much as the next guy, but I'm not just with anybody, okay? I'm talking about Simon. Okay. At one point, this is what happened. He, it was like an ego boost for him, okay? So this guy would tell everybody what the fuck I did all the time. I didn't like that he did that, but I, he just always did it. Everybody seemed to know what I did. I don't know who the hell he told about my channel, so I don't know who watches me, okay? He's a bit of a playboy. You know, he's a super handsome guy still is you know what i mean he, he will always be a good looking man uh he looks like james franco um but he's a fucking asshole okay but anyways um i don't know what kind of horrors he's around that are watching me now so it kind of generates kind of a, a feeling of it takes away my peace of mind that's as simple as i can put it and it will take away yours and you don't want that and i don't give a fuck if people say that's petty don't worry about it no it will affect you because then you're just it's just it will affect you i don't care I don't care what people say. So, second, what else will happen? If it doesn't work out, then everything that goes wrong in their life is going to be because of you. For sure. They just, their sister got cancer. You did it. If uh, their dog got run over by a car, you made it happen. If uh, the ex, the baby's mama, her mom's on, you know, life support, you are the reason. Like, I'm flattered that they would think that I'm that much of a badass. But really, I never knew I could give somebody cancer. Or I never knew that um, I could put somebody on life support. It's kind of crazy. And when you're an alcoholic or a drug addict, it's kind of hard to know where magic starts and your fucked up life begins, you know? It, there, where, where do you draw the line? You would have to get off of what the fuck you're on in order to see the difference. You know what I mean? 
So, another thing is you really have to know where you've been. Okay, you need to know what kind of friends at one point you used to have before you got, you know, to this point in time. Because you need to know who might come around um, and who might run their mouth. Because people will always talk shit, no matter what. People that I've known my whole life, my whole life, okay, since I was a little girl, used to, like, be my number one fan, okay? And once he saw that my work's pretty good, once he saw that I have a little bit of exposure, once he saw that I'm, you know, I'm doing really well, I'm doing decent, you know, and um, who I thought would be very happy for me, <laughs> stop being happy for me you know and, and i think that's pathetic and i think uh, i don't need a friendship like that i'm not looking for friends i'm not lacking in that area you know and do i look like a bitch that can't get dick no i don't have a problem with that so either way it's not gonna bother me i'm all right what bothers me is when people try to um accuse me of things i don't like that because you either better be paying me a good amount of money or you gotta have like hurt my son not me because there's not too much i'll get upset about you know what i mean you only if you touch my child then i will bury your ass but until then nobody's done that no it's not a problem we're all right we're good so when i start getting accused of um let me tell you guys why friends that you have will start coming over and anything you say can get misconstrued so it ends up making your entire life a little bit uncomfortable to the point where you rather just be by yourself like nah, i'm good you know what i mean unless i really trust you so i'm not gonna be censoring what the fuck i say that's not comfortable nobody should have to do that you know what i mean if your conscience is that bad that you have to run your mouth about shit that i'm supposedly doing <laughs> then you are a fucking bitch that's what you are you know what i mean so, and I'm sure you know what I mean, honey. Uh, and I'm not upset. This is me happy. This is how I am. I'm, I'm a serious kind of girl. That's just the way I am. I used to be different, but people get, um, I'm 31. <laughs> but at 25, it was different, but I would think people would, you know, mature. <laughs> That's the goal in life. It's to mature, you know. <laughs> but um, not all of us do. So anyways, um this friend of mine came over to, uh, mind you like i said i've known him since i was like five years old i can't remember a time when this person was not in my life he's always been around um so uh what was i gonna say okay i was madly in love with this one person my feelings for this person run extremely deep they still do okay but we had a bad day um me and this person and i was upset and this fucking childhood friend of mine happened to show up so because we're friends, before yo soy una bruja, um, I was venting, you know, I was letting him know how I felt, whatever. He doesn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was doing a client's job, but I was talking to him while I was doing it. All of a sudden, I'm being told that I did this curse on this guy, you know, second. Look, man, you, you need to just, for you being in prison, you should know a little bit more than that. You should be, you should be a little bit smarter than that. Because if you're not the one doing what my hands are doing, then what the fuck are you talking for? What's flying out of your mouth? Like, why don't you stay in your lane and I'll stay in mine and everything will be good. Because I don't care what you do. I don't care who you fuck. I don't care. It's not my business. It's not, we tried it. We didn't work out. We're good. I'd rather have the friendship than anything. Besides, my feelings for you are, you're not my type. This person, and I think you guys know it and even, it's pretty obvious. My feelings for this person run extremely deep. I would never hurt him. Never. Never. There's nothing I there's nothing he could do that would make me want to hurt him. There's no way. So to hear somebody running their mouth, that shit gets annoying. And it'll happen to you too. A casual conversation will get switched around. So it's something to think about, you know, if you're dating, have a backup plan, tell them that you're doing so you're in school or something. Because it's a very touchy topic. People are very opinionated and it, after a while it can affect you, you know? Because you're constantly feeling like you have to um, justify yourself or as if you are treated differently. And really, it's either a mix of envy and confusion and, you know, curiosity. But really, I don't know why people talk if they don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. It's annoying, but it happens every day. So, pointers. What did I say? Recap. <laughs> um have a backup plan so when people ask you what you do you don't got to tell anybody how much you make you don't got to tell people how much you charge but use your discretion okay because people are in this kind of stuff people are just waiting 
People are so jealous when, when they see that your work is good. People are so afraid and guilty of their own in their own heads that they really think that like anything, you know, you will, your life will revolve around them. And, and I don't know what they're thinking. So that's why, like I said, it's important to know where you have been. What kind of friends did you have in high school? What kind of crowd did you have? You know, were you married? Are you single? Have you been married? Are you divorced? How did the friends break apart? Think about all that shit before you start going a little more public with stuff. Because people will start coming around. Or people will start running their mouths. And you got to know what each one's capable of. Because fear can make a motherfucker do some crazy shit. I'm not lying. I've seen fear make people do things I cannot imagine. So, that's all I have. But you know what? I am... Um, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to do the Taurus reading, but I'm going to come back and do it because this is already 10 minutes. Okay? Simon, I miss Cash. I hope he's doing well. Alrighty? Love you. I meant Cash, not you. <laughs> I love Cash. But yeah, I miss him. Alrighty? Bye. Bye, guys.